Live from the Chase Athletic Center in Smithfield, Rhode Island, this is Northeast Conference Basketball. Tonight, the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils take on the Bryant University Bulldogs. Couldn't finish it, rebounded by Afesi. The lob inside, Ken Horton taking the pass from Vinales, eighth in the NEC. They'll need to overachieve, you're right, in that category. Horton for three. Got it! Aspect, which certainly helps out. Well, there's no doubt about it. Joe DeSantis is certainly not one that would be above taking a guarantee here and there. No, I, I think that as Kenny Horton drills the three, showing that. Found the open shot. Corey Maynard. Vinales, and rebounded by David Simmons, who just checked in. Ken Horton in blue. The Blue Devils lead it 23 to 9. 9.20 left in the first half. Frankie Dobbs gets the roll. Dave Popkin, Joe DeSantis with you, and Matt Harmon is standing by with a special guest on the sidelines. Bob, thanks so much here with Bryant University President Ronald Makeley. President, thanks for giving us a couple minutes. Uh, let's talk first about the continued transition from Division II to Division I on schedule for full enrollment next year. How's it going? I think it's going great. Both the uh, administration of our athletic department and the coaches have done a great job in preparing our student athletes to be real competitors at the top level Division I. We just had our peer review certification. We had no major issues. Uh, we're ready to go. Our athletes are ready to go. And it's going to be an exciting transition next year when we really step it up for the playoffs. I know you're so proud of the academic scene here at Bryan as well. Such a good reputation. But something kind of unique going on. You guys are building the Forbidden City on campus. We're not only building a Forbidden City uh, complex on campus, but we expect to have a campus in China in 2013. Uh, we're here at a basketball game, and Yao Ming is a popular guy over there. Who knows, a couple of years you may see some uh, six foot nine, seven foot guys come over here from uh, China. We well, appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Great to be here with you. Thank you. The president helping out with the basketball recruiting, looking for a Chinese center for the team. They opened up a 13 nothing lead. Bryant trying to claw their way back into it. Maynard off the head fake. Aggressive move by Corey Maynard, the 440 left of the first half. Man to man D. Tassic. He doesn't need much room. Got it! Francis, little stutter step. And one! And the tail of two drives. Tassic went in, looked like the Red Sea had parted, but he kind of took an awkward shot. Okay, Francis, as you see him here, with a little crossover, a little stutter inside out. He's got a great touch around the hoop. Well, first scored. half for Central Connecticut. Good defense. They made six threes, plus three on the backboards. They did just about everything. Couple block shots, including this one. Here's the kick. And again, it's the long arm of the law. Kenny Horton led the conference last year in shot blocks, got a piece of it. And Matt is standing by with the head coach of the Blue Devils, Howie Dickenman. Thanks, Pop. Coach, uh, so far, really good half. We've seen a little bit of everything from Kenny Horton so far. Yeah, Kenny's playing um, terrific. He's rebounding the ball. He had a block shot here at the end of the half. He's taking good shots. You know, he's really stepped his game up. He's been averaging 20 and 9, but right now he's more aggressive tonight than he's been in the other five games we played. I poked in your huddle in one of the timeouts, and you were talking about defense. Uh, I would say right now you've got to be thrilled with how you guys are playing on the defensive side of the ball. Well, we're trying to take Francis out of his game. When he gets the ball inside, he's a terrific one-on-one -on -one player. So we're trying to use the word smother him, maybe can force him some turnovers, and we've been successful so far. Coach, best of luck. Second half, thanks. Thank you. Dave, back to you. Here's Vinales, the pass to Afese. How you attack a two on one and how you don't. Horton, a deep one. Ken Horton, another three. He has three of them tonight and 19 momentarily. Horton, an open three. Got it. Goal, that's what the shirts say. Even though the team has struggled tonight, they have been into it. He got it, and one, Alex Francis. And they're not making perimeter shots. Two for 14 from downtown, the Bulldogs. 
Tasek, another three. Cut! Robbie Tasek with four three-pointers, 16 points. A lot here with Hall of Famer from the Boston Globe, Bob Ryan. Bob, so much going on in Boston. What brings you to Bryan tonight? We have the Eastern Regional in Boston again this year for the third time, and the Globe always does feature stories in conjunction with it for a preview section, and I've composed an idea that with 21 Division I schools in New England, Bryant being the 21st officially next year, that I would like to go to a game in each of the 21 venues, a home game, and just have, make a diary story. And so this is stop number four. So at some point, we'll see you at Central Connecticut State as well. Yes, this would have been stop number four. It would have been a Central last Saturday, but that's the day the NBA thing broke. I had to stay back and write. It was a 2 o'clock game. I couldn't make it, but uh, I will be at Central. I made it to Central last year once, and uh, I will definitely be there. So much good stuff going on in Boston right now. Celtics are back. Bruins off to a good start. The Patriots are the Patriots. It's, it's been a great fall now going into winter. And then we got a Christmas present, we being the, the writers, and, the, and the, because Bobby Valentine is going to be a lot of fun to have around. Bob, it's great to see you in NEC basketball. Thanks for a couple minutes. You're welcome. In Cambridge, minute left. Oh, nice inside. Vlad Petracia. Willow off to Harris. Altit. You got it. That's a two. And that's why Tim O'Shea and his staff is high on Altit. He got the ball behind three, shot fake, put it down, and made a nice pull up. It's a great move. That's the ball game. Central Connecticut wins it 83 to 51 in very convincing fashion. 32 points for Ken Horton, nine rebounds, six out of 10 from downtown. Tasek at 20, Vinales at 15. We're back with the post game after this. Central Connecticut is the top scoring team in the Northeast Conference and they proved it tonight. 83-51 the final score. Matt Harmon is standing by with our Ruby Tuesday player of the game. Pop, thanks so much. A big reason why Central so successful tonight. No big surprise, Kenny Horton. 32 points tonight. You know, I talked to your coach before the game, and he said he was still waiting for you to play your best game of the season. I think maybe you could tell him that you did it tonight. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to come out. You know, I haven't really been playing to where I wanted to play. And uh, tonight, you know, being a first conference game, I wanted to come out, you know, give them my all to, to help the team win. You know, me playing my best really gives us an edge. So um, you know, I just came out, and, uh, you know, they found me. I hit a couple of shots, and we were able to get the big, big victory. You know, you should be happy with 32 points, but you're a little bit upset about something. Nine rebounds, you were hoping to get the double-double. Yeah, I've been working for 10 all season. I get close, I get nine or eight every every game. Yeah, I, I thought I had it today, but I came up one short, but I'll, I'll, I'll get it eventually. You know, kind of a different year for you this year because you have some help. Tasik off to a great start, Vinales is off to a great start. You guys are gonna be a tough team to beat. Yeah, I mean, it's, it feels real good to have some help. You know, Robbie, Robbie's been shooting the lights out, Kyle as well. So it feels good to not have uh, I, I, want, I don't know if you want to call it a burden on me, but um, it, it feels good to really have some help this year, and I think we'll be a, we'll be a force to reckon with once, once the later part of the conference comes. Looking forward to Sacred Heart? Oh, yeah, yes, most definitely, most definitely. You know, we're just looking forward to taking it one game at a time, and uh, uh, fortunately, Sacred Heart is up next, so, you know, we'll just uh, look forward to taking it to them and uh, seeing what happens on Saturday. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the NEC's best on display tonight.